Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 7th and subject science. In that chapter number 13. Chapter name is motion and a time. In the previous two videos, in the part 2, we have seen up to main 5. Today we will see main 6. Define. It carries one mark each. Number 1. Simple pendulum. Answer is a system of a small massive body suspended by light in extensible string from a rigid support and capable of oscillating in one vertical plane only is known as simple pendulum. Number 2. Time period of a simple pendulum. Answer is the time taken by the simple pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period. Now see the next page. Number 3. Speed. The distance travelled by an object per unit time is called a speed. Now see the main 7. Answer the following question in a sort. 2 marks each. See the question number 1. State the points while choosing the most suitable scale to draw a graph. Answer is the points to choose the most suitable scale to draw a graph are as follows. The difference between the highest and the lowest values of each quantity. Choose scale such that intermediate values of each quantity can be conveniently shown on the graph. Next point is the maximum part of the graph paper is utilized for drawing the graph. Now see the question number 2. Write the uses of the distance time graph. Answer is. The uses are as follows. The position of the object can be decided at any time of the given time interval. The distance moved by an object in given interval of time can be decided. Speeds of objects moving with different constant speeds can be compared. Next point is speed can be calculated by obtaining the distance covered in unit time interval. Motion of an object is accelerated or re retarded can also be decided. Now see the question number 3. Dravid noted observation 1048 km and 1096 km on the odometer of his car while starting journey and then after 40 minutes of journey respectively what would be the average speed of the car see the time taken 40 minutes so 40 minutes covered distance is 1000 uh, 1096 km minus 1048 km is equal to 48 km now see the average speed is equal to total distance covered upon total time taken the total distance covered is 48 km upon uh, time taken is the total time taken is 40 upon 60 okay in hour so 48 multiply by this 60 goes up so multiply by 60 upon 14 so we get the answer 72 km per hour so average speed of the car is equal to 72 km per hour now see the next page now see the question number four a runner covers distance of 100 meter in 10 seconds in a running competition find out the average speed of the runner in meter per second and kilometer per hour average speed is equal to total distance traveled upon total time taken so total distance travel is 100 meter 100 meter and total time taken are 10 seconds so 100 meter upon 10 second is equal to 10 meter per second now average speed is equal to 10 meter per second so is equal to 10 into meter per second so into multiply by 1 upon 1000 kilometer upon 1 upon 36 hour so is equal to 10 multiply by this 31 uh, 3600 goes up multiply by 3600 upon 1000 kilometer per hour so we get the answer 36 kilometer per hour 
Now for the question number 5. A simple pendulum takes 32 seconds to complete 20 oscillations. What is the time period of the time, uh, pendulum? So, see the hint first of all. The time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation is called its time period. The time period of pendulum is equal to 32 seconds upon 20 oscillations is equal to 1.6 second. So, answer is 1.6 second. Now, see the question number 6. The distance between two stations is 240 km. A train takes 4 hours to cover the dis this distance. Calculate the speed of the train. C. Answer. Distance covered is equal to 240 km. Time taken is 4 hours. Now, speed of the train is equal to distance covered upon time taken. So, distance covered is 240 km and time taken is upon 4 hours. So, we get the answer 4, 6 by 24. So, 60 km per hour or kilometer hour raised to min, uh, minus 1. Now, see the 7th one. Salma takes 15 minutes from her house to reach her school on a bicycle. If the bicycle has speed of 2 meter per second, then calculate the distance between her house and the school. So, time taken is equal to 15 minutes is equal to, first of all, you have to count down in the seconds. So, 15 multiplied by 60 seconds. So, is equal to 900 seconds. Speed of the bicycle is equal to 2 meter per second. Now, see the distance of the school from the house is equal to distance covered by Salma is equal to speed multiplied by 10. The distance of the school from the house is equal to 2 meter per second multiplied by 900 second. So, is equal to 1800 meter is equal to 1800 upon 1000 kilometer is equal to 1.800 kilometer. So, distance of the school from the house is equal to 1.8 kilometer. Now, we will see the main 8 in the next video part 4. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.